Hello friends, today I will discuss about the creation of MATLAB executable file or MAX file. So let's see how we can create a MAX file. So before creation MAX file, first of all discuss about the advantage of MAX file. So MAX file is uh, executed as executable file without having to be compiled unlike M file. So basically MAX files are the compiled files. The, and these files are already compiled so whenever you run this file it directly executed okay if we talk about the m files these files are first compiled and after that they are executed right so uh, max files speed up the computation process definitely when you will use the max file the computation speed will be fast and we will also demonstrate this at the end of this lecture and uh, m file take definitely uh, much time right and uh, max file is capable of calling large existing c c plus plus or fortran program directly from matlab without rewriting them as m files so suppose you have some um, pre-existing subroutine written in c or c plus plus language or fortran language and you are not interested to rewrite it again in the matlab file so max file gives you the facility to directly use that C code without converting it to the MATLAB file or M file, right? And MAX file allows parallelism so we can write multi-threaded C codes. So if you want to write multi-thread C code, you can use the MAX file. So now I think uh, uh, you get the lot of advantage of MAX file, right? And uh, I personally think uh, MAX files cannot be uh, revert back to the M file, right? So once you create the max file for a particular M code or M file, you can distribute this max file to the next person, and I think he will not able to see your uh, logic or your code, okay? Because uh, it doesn't open in the MATLAB. So I will show you this later. MATLAB coder is used to generate C. C++ code or max file from MATLAB M file. So definitely if you have the M file you can convert into the max file for that conversion MATLAB coder is required right. So this conversion can be done for a variety of hardware platforms, embedded system and desktop platforms right. This is the uh, symbol of the MATLAB coder that is available in the apps MATLAB app, so you can uh, see there it is not uh, included in the basic version of MATLAB so you can check in the apps whether it is available there or not right so now uh, if you want to create a max file definitely uh, we are required a M file because uh, we want to convert that M file into the max file so first of all we required a M file so uh, we are considering a problem in which we have to compute some of the odd integers up to the user specified integer value n so if you uh, if user provides some integer value n then the m file will calculate the sum of odd integers only right so code for this is here so here uh, one function that is sum odd right and uh, one uh, input that is n that will be provided by the user and one output variable sum is available here okay so you have to write here uh, percentage has code gen okay so the code generation will be start here so you have to write this line okay so some variable is taken here sum is equal to zero count is equal to one and one function that is not equal right so we have used one loop while loop uh, while not equal to count comma n that means these two things are not equal in that case it will go inside the loop and if modulus of count whatever the count is here okay that count is divided by 2 and again it is compare with the not equal to if it is not equal to then it will perform sum is equal to sum plus count okay if this condition is not satisfied it go to the else and sum is equal to sum okay there's no change in the sum we can say and after that count is incremented okay and again uh, the count is incremented again and this condition is verified okay so until this condition will satisfy this loop will run okay so when count is more right more than the n which is specified by the user this uh, loop will go outside okay and uh, uh, you will have the sum of all the odd values okay so this is the simple function or we can say this is the simple m file okay so we have to write this code in the uh, matlab we have to create m file uh, after that we can proceed for the max file conversion right let's move to the matlab so 
I have written this uh, program here okay so definitely we have to save the file with the same name as the uh, function name okay so we have the same name of the file the function name okay uh, uh, after this uh, if you want to check this function you can also check so sum odd suppose I am providing n is equal to 5 okay to 5 the sum is 4 right so some uh, values uh, sum of odd number so up to 5 the odd numbers are 1 and 3 okay so 1 and 3 sum is 4 okay so whatever the number we are providing it is uh, uh, considering not up to that number uh, rather before that number right if you want to include that you have to change here that condition okay now we want to create max file so for that I have to go to the apps and in the apps we can check that MATLAB coder is here so either you can open from here or you can just write coder in the command window right so once you uh, type the coder you will get this uh, wizard type right so you have to just follow the steps and you will get the max file so first of all uh, you have to enter the function name so you can pick that from the list right so we have the sum odd open okay so if you want to add some entry point functions at this point you can add those functions also right uh, like I was saying that if you want to include some C in subroutines or some other language program so you can uh, add that here right so after that you can go to the next yes now you have to define uh, the we can say the type of the input that you will provide the type or and the size of that input right so for that just select this option let me enter input or global type directly right so when you will click on this you will get the list of the variables so here we we have only one variable that is n and after that you have to define it so when you click on the define you will get multiple options right so suppose you are not confirm at this time what is the type of that uh, variable so the best option is that uh, just uh, select this defined by example okay so uh, as I execute previously uh, I enter value 5 right just to uh, execute this I enter n is equal to 5 so suppose I uh, entered n is equal to 5 and if I click somewhere else so it will compute and it find that the type of the variable is double whatever the value you will enter that is of double type and its size is one cross one okay so it is taken automatically so um, by considering example it is very easy right so now next so here you can uh, just run or you can test basically whether your function is working properly or not so just some odd uh, and enter the value suppose 5 and check for the issues right if there's an issue that will be listed here if no issue it will show that there's no issue so no issue detected right okay now we can go to the next and you can um, check the output here right what we have executed you got the answer right next now you get the option so you have to uh, decide the build type so if you want to create some source code like language C in that case uh, you can select the hardware right so there are option for the hardware and uh, what is the host type okay so you have to define the machine also on which machine you want to uh, run this code right so here uh, and there are multiple options you can create max file static library dynamic library and executable file right so we are interested in creation of max file so select max okay so max then C code okay after that generate okay once I will click on the generator I will get one uh, max file in my current directory okay and that name will be some odd underscore max you can change this name also right so I'm not changing here so generate so now it is building you can check here yes build successful right so now you can uh, close it or you can just go to the next 
yeah so max generated successfully okay so now if you want to check the current directory you can check here you have one sum odd underscore max and max 64 because uh, it is generated a 64 bit system so that's why uh, max w windows 64 okay so it is a, we can say it is platform dependent on which platform you have generated it will execute it on the same platform right so now it will run only on the windows 64 systems okay uh, at this point if i want to open this file so i'm just double click this file it is not opening right and if you write here edit and uh, uh, max uh, file name some odd underscore max it is not opening it is saying uh, this file does not exist do you want to create it okay i don't want to create no right so uh, so you cannot open it in the matlab editor right but if i run this some odd because it is a function simple we can say some odd and i write the value 5 so you can check the answer right so it is very easy now the next part is uh, we want to compare the computational speed of these two uh, we have one function that is some odd right so if i write some odd so this is simple m file right so we are getting answer uh, with the two files the same answer we are getting right so uh, at this mm, point we are just uh, taking a small value of n so we are not uh, able to observe the difference but if i take the value of n large in that case you will feel the difference okay so for the comparison we have written some other program so in this program we have considered n is equal to 10 is to power 8 okay so n is 10 is to power 8 and before executing m file we have taken the cpu time what is the current cpu time okay and store that in the tmatlab and after the executing this we subtract the previous cpu time from the current cpu time so we get the time which, uh, which is uh, taken in the execution of this particular function right uh, and after that we print that the m file computation time is whatever the time right and uh, similarly for the max file we have taken the cpu time and uh, execute that max file and after that again we can uh, taken the difference of the cpu time okay current and previous so in this way we get the uh, execution time of both the functions and print uh, the execution time for both the functions right so i am just running this and let's see the results what are the results right So at this time you can check because we have taken n large so it is taking little time right yes so the first is corresponding to the m file so m file computation time is 9.01563 second right so approximately 9 seconds and uh, second result is corresponding to max file so max file computation time is 1.03125 second so you can observe the difference right now results are same you can check here results are same but the computation time is less in case of max file and it is significant less because it is 9 and it is 1 so you can check it is 9 times okay so ma uh, max uh, m file is taking 9 times more time in this case uh, so it is not uh, necessary it will take uh, every time 9 times right it depends on the program to program but um, definitely um, max file will take less time because max file is already compiled it is directly executing but m file is first compiled and after that it it is executed okay so now you can provide this max file to anyone okay and he will not get the idea what is written inside this file so you can preserve your logic also and you can distribute this file to the next person okay so i think uh, you got the idea of the creation of m file if you have any query you can write to me if you enjoy this lecture please like and share thank you